Science has always been the foundation of development and crucial to how we understand our world. Without science, we wouldn't be able to grasp the concept of gravity and the complexity of the human DNA. We wouldn't have invented vaccines, the car, the space rocket, the internet or the smartphone. But even though we have come a long way, there are still plenty of challenges in the future that we need science and imaginative scientists to solve. We are very much aware of the problems, but if we wait for 50 years, the problem will be much worse. One of the greatest challenges is that we have just one planet, one Earth. Mineral resources are rocks and rare Earth elements, the real resource for our daily life. We put it into our cars, mobile phones, computers, houses, but it all stems from these minerals. And these elements, they have to be processed before the manufacturers can use it for the mobile phone. So you can say that this rock is the very beginning of your mobile phone. We have to face that we only have one planet and that we have a limited amount of resources. These resources are for all generations and for the future. So we have to establish a sustainable system for recycling the raw material. A modern smartphone like this one contains more than 60 different elements and they all come from various minerals and uh, we have to find the minerals, we have to, to first of all actually to discover the minerals and to find a way to, to get some of these elements out of the, of the minerals. It may take only a few years to invent new things, new screens, new systems, which call for, uh, for new raw materials. But it may take 20 years, 30 years, 40 years to come up with a new mine, which can actually supply these things. Today, we don't use our resources the most efficient way. We extract only part of the rocks, part of the elements in the minerals. We could actually optimize some of the products we are manufacturing so that we have a better understanding on what we can use not only from from the rock and the minerals in the very beginning but also in in the some of the parts sitting in the computer sitting in the in the car or in the house and so on so it's possible to recycle again and again in prehistoric times we know that the ecosystems collapsed causing the dinosaurs to become extinct prehistoric animals and plants disappeared quite suddenly, and we might experience the same again. We don't know how our climate will develop, but we do know that we will experience an increasing pressure from a globally growing population. And for that, we need to take care of how we use our soil and our biosphere. There will be a steadily increasing pressure on resources like food, feed, energy, and it's going so fast that we may end up in a situation where we overexploit our resources before we learn how to manage them in an intelligent way. Like in ancient times when people were simple hunters and farmers, they needed to have every bits and pieces out of what they produced. We've lost that knowledge and we need to refine that knowledge and implement it in our management both on personal level but also on a global level because otherwise we will definitely have a problem in having sufficient resources for all our fellow people. For example, if you take forestry, uh, if you do in the tropical forest, cut down all the valuable trees, cut down the rest, just burn them on the ground, then you end up with a bare land that is of no good for anything. Alternatively, you could go in and take care in what you take out. Make sure that you have trees left to regenerate the forest, to cover the area, make sure that you have the humus on the ground that is a prerequisite for the long-term fertility of the soil. So in forestry you actually can do a lot and you can actually also do it in a short time span, like 20 years, you could do a huge difference. Where do we go if the ecosystems collapse in the future? There is just this one planet, so we need to find intelligent solutions 
when it comes to managing our natural resources. There's a lot of both knowledge that needs to be further developed, but also some decisions that had to be made. Depending on our choices now and the knowledge we gain in, in the next 10 years, I think that's the time span we have to change our actions. It's going to require, of course, some interesting and bright young people to help us doing that. But I think it can be done.